launcher and in this video i'm just gonna go over what far empire is and why you should care about it why it relates to you and how it can help you as a female entrepreneur so first and first for her empire is for female entrepreneurs and as a small business owner you are the core of your business your strengths and your weaknesses are reflected in your business so whatever you're good at is going to show in your business whatever you're not so good at is going to show in your business and because of that it's important that you develop yourself that you understand your strong points your weak points and how you can leverage that to sort of grow your business or to create that business or launch that business around your strengths and your weaknesses so here for her empire we believe in not helping you start that business or helping you or grow that business or take it to the next step in four simple steps so the first thing we do the first step is to provide you personalized resources so what does this mean for you because every woman is different because every woman has you no know, different times you have different things you're working with you are different places you're starting that business journey at different points so we have to have a quick 20 minutes meeting with you a quick 20 minutes chat where we go over your strengths your weaknesses what your goals are, your short-term goals, your long-term goals, what your skills look like, both internally and externally. And after this, you can now create a customized roadmap or a customized plan of what you're good at, what, you, what you're bad at. But we can't just make this plan based on what you say. So sometimes we think our strong points are X, Y, Z, when in reality they are A, B, C. So after this quick 20 minutes chat, I'm going to give you a free weekly planner. So for one week or for two weeks, we're gonna we'll plan that out. Then after that period, okay, we look at it and see. So you said your strong points are this, this, this. But based on this activity period, turns out your strength was this, or you're right, your strength is this. So based on what you think on and then what the results are, we can now craft a personalized roadmap for you and create the personalized resources based on your skills. So someone who's good at marketing. Could not have the same roadmap as someone who's not so good at marketing. Someone who's good at managing their time will not have the same roadmap as someone who's not good at managing their time. We are all at different points, and it only makes sense that our resources, our roadmap, are, no, are tweaked so that it suits us better, and that's what we do. So the first thing we do is give you personalized resources, personalized activities, personalized plan, personalized resources for you. Not anybody else, you, based on your strengths, based on your weaknesses, based on what your goal is, based on what time frame you're giving to yourself. It's specific to you. Now, the second thing we do, the second step in our four step process, is that we know that sometimes just because we sign up for a course or take a checklist or take an ebook or a template doesn't necessarily mean that we actually use it. I am very guilty of that. And so, and I, I know a lot of people, a lot of women who are guilty of that, where we sort of hoard resources and never actually use it, or we say we're going to use it. We plan and plan and plan and then things happen. It doesn't quite manifest the way we think it will. So the second thing we do is motivate the hell out of you. So you actually put your butt down and get to work. So you actually use resources because now you know you need this. Now you know what your strengths and weaknesses are. So, but just knowing that is not enough there's always so much mental pressure there's mental shifts going on there's also life happens situations happen circumstances happen just because we plan to do something doesn't mean it actually gets done and sometimes you need an external force motivating you to actually you know sit your butt down get the stuff done so we motivate the hell out of you so you use this process so look at that roadmap look at your weekly planner week by week and actually start doing your tasks that's step two. Step one is the personalized resources. Step two is the motivation. Now, step three and four is where the community aspect of Koha Empire really shines. So the thing is, as a female entrepreneur, as someone launching a small business, it feels a bit isolating, a bit lonely. And we're not just saying that. You can be on Facebook, you can be on Instagram, chatting with people, but how often do you have someone who you can send your weekly plan to and tell them, hey, please keep me accountable for this. Hey, please give me feedback on what you think I'm doing. Am I putting too much on my plate or can I add uh, some more? Um, how often do you have someone you can genuinely ask, hi, um, look at my website, look at my marketing, please give me some feedback. Or hi, um, we've worked together for a while, you know about me, could you please write me a recommendation or a testimonial 
or if it's possible you can vent too because life is happening and life has been woo, crappy lately and you just want to let out that in your chest so you can talk to so you can say okay life is licking my butt right now and this one i can talk to how often do we actually have that in our entrepreneurial space very rarely and so step three and four do we bring in that you know that wholesome healthy community where we both help each other where we are both helping each other thrive where we are not pushing each other down we're for each other we are on our side like i'm in your corner you're in my corner we're in each other's corner and that's what three and four is so in step three we bring in the accountability part of it so once you join the community you're matched with an accountability partner and you're put in a small accountability group so just five to ten of you that's small group we don't want to overwhelm you we don't want to turn this into something overly complicated keep it simple and so what that happens is that every week or every other week based on the arrangement in your group every week you can say uh okay to submit my weekly planner as well as say hi so hi ashley hi i'm jane so i'm being matched with jane this week or this month we've both done our weekly planners and we both exchange a weekly planner so you're gonna keep me accountable and i will keep you accountable or i will keep someone else accountable it's in the group we all keep each other accountable the beauty of this is that when situations happen where i'm not able to no, really tick that that item that task in my weekly planner i can just go to my group and say hi okay so i i have this on my desk today and this weekend you no know, my kid is sick or um, i have to pull in overtime in my nine to five or blah 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 happens so i might not meet this deadline i might not be able to do this task this week but it's okay i promise i'm gonna put in the time and do it on xyz date this is my new timeline i'm just gonna try my best to make this happen but from the look of things that might not work but i will do my best so it it's that accountability is there it means you're not being lazy you're not procrastinating things really does happen and after a week or two and still not, nothing from you your accountability group your accountability partner follows up and like hi ashley what's going on hi jane what's going on um are you okay right now is your kids still okay um no i think in the office still chaotic um are we gonna meet this timeline what's a new plan that community that accountability that check-in with each other that's what step three is you're not existing in a silo <laughs> then it is alone we are having people we are matching you to your new buddy in a new group in a new community a sub community within our community within the larger ecosystem we are partnering with people who follow up with you who would ask you how is how is your monday so far how is your weekend so far how was your week you know oh or maybe you, they have an issue with something and they're like oh this has been tough for me i just want to get your opinion on this that community we bring that that accountability we bring that that's step three now step four is objective feedback just because you think something is amazing as a man, it's amazing. And just because you think something is simple to you doesn't mean that our new pair of eyes might find it as easy. So objective feedback means you get objective feedback on your business activities, on your activities for growing your skills. So with your website, with your marketing, with your time management, you get objective feedback on it. If I look to the like this, so let's say you have this amazing idea you know, for your business. And then in your group, they know you've had several amazing ideas and you have so many unfinished projects. An objective feedback could be, hi, that idea is great. Can we put it down a bit and get some here on these other amazing ideas? Finish one thing first. And then maybe if that still looks great, you can go back to it. An objective idea doesn't have to be on your, on your website or on your marketing or your strategy. It might be on your management. It might be on your productivity levels. So you get objective feedback on what you're doing. You get accountability, you get resources, you get motivation, and all of that works together to help you start that business properly or grow that business and have a tight knit community around you. So you can talk to who you can just share your mind with, and that's for her empire in a nutshell. Woo! <laughs> so I recommend that you, you book that 20 minutes call, it's, it's free. We're gonna go over your strengths and weaknesses, we'll give you the weekly planner, we'll decide. Try and see what you can do from this planner the first one week, you know, next two weeks, and see if your planned activities are the same as your actual activities. And uh, which of these activities do you, where you did you enjoy a lot more, which you did not like so much, which you were excited for, which you were like, oh, this again. So based on that, we can now create a roadmap for you. We can now really 
bring you properly to the community. I'd like to see you. I really, really hope you join this community. I'm psyched to have you. I definitely want to have you here. Your professional experience, your personal experience could really help someone. And no matter what you think, even if you think this is your first year in business or you've never run a business before, it's okay. You already have so much you're bringing to the table. Your anxieties, your insecurities, your fear, someone else feels the same way and thinks they're alone. So no matter what, you have a lot to share. And I want you to bring it to a community. See you. Bye.